it felt like a dream. Have you ever been to a place so foreign, so beautiful, that it's like the rest of the world ceases to exist? Once you do something brave, once you do something that scares you, mm -hmm. and you're successful, then everything opens up for you because you know that you can do it. I came here for an adventure, but I had no idea how much this trip would affect me. You know, I think the universe rewards you when you're brave. This, this is how love is meant to be. It really makes you think that, that nothing else matters. People might kidnap small, small children. Is this a, a danger? Yes. I loved you. I love her in how many? Ten minutes. <laughs> it takes us ten minutes to love each other. Marrakesh is the kind of place that makes you take risks. So I touch down and arrive at this fairy tale oasis hidden outside of Marrakesh called Kazar Sharbag. As you might recall from past episodes, I make this show with just me and my tripods without a film crew. So although this place has incredible food and the most spectacular pool, the first place you'll find me in any new country is scrambling up onto a rooftop to film the sunset. I love how when you film a time lapse, there is no shortcut. It forces you to be still, patient, and contemplate your environment in a way you'll never get from rushing from one tourist site to another. And when you are still, your senses are heightened. And so as I'm filming, I, I hear music far off across the desert. And slowly I see this little group appear. It's people dancing down the road. And I'm so curious, I, I rush downstairs uh, to the hotel manager, Fabienne, and I ask him, what is this, what, what is going on? And he looks at me and says, how fast can you be ready? I, I asked Fabienne, I was like, what, what is this, this wonderful music, what's happening? He said, someone is getting married, it's a wedding. And we're so fortunate that he said, if you can be downstairs in two minutes, I can get you an invite and you can go along to this wedding. And so I find myself inside this family's home no one has asked a single question. The whole village has just embraced me, invited me inside to, to share this experience with them. We don't have a culture, dress, religion, anything in common. And yet we dance as though we've known each other our whole lives. joy in that house and we're dancing as though it's a nightclub but you've got the elderly teenagers toddlers men women all sharing this together how can i not fall in love with a culture where people find this much joy in their family and are so generous in sharing it with me a stranger Sometimes I think we look for an excuse for why we're not living the life we want. I'm unlucky, I don't have enough money, enough contacts, my family doesn't support me. The woman I met in these hills showed me that when you have courage and make a choice to move on from your past and focus only on the good things in your life, anything is possible. I discovered this magical place called Scarabeo where you sleep in tents and it was here that I met Hafida, a woman who fought the government to become the first ever female mountain guide in Morocco. I, th I always think I do this job for what? Yeah. First, I did it for, yeah, because I love mountains. Mm -mm. First is because I love mountains. Yeah. I love to be in, what city, in San Con In harmony with in nature. In harmony with nature, yeah, this is yeah. first. Second. I like people. Yeah. I love people. <laughs> I love them from the first. And then if they are not good, I just go away and yeah. then. 
And if they are good, this is happy. This is paradise. This is yeah. nice. Yeah. I, I give them all what they have, and I know that they give it to me back. Yeah. I have this deep love mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I take most of Morocco. Maybe they are like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hafida tells me her dream is to open a little bed and breakfast to help the poor people in her village. But when asked about her dreams as a child, she says she had none. My life when I was a child, she was very, very hard. I was, we were very poor and uh, um, we need to, to eat and to go to school. So when I was 11, I was, my mom said to me, we must work if you want to study. And because I like studying, mm. I worked. Mm -mm. And there is a French woman yes. who my mom worked like a housekeeper yeah. in her house and she just help us, this woman. She talks to me like her daughter and really? she pay all my study and she, she helped me to, oh, wow. to be here like I am now. We live in one small house like that and yes. 10 of us there. Yes. We don't know if we can eat tomorrow or not. Mm -mm. We don't know if we can go to school or not. Yeah. For me to eat is not important, it's to go to school. Yeah. So wow. I was very, and it happened. So yeah, nice. That's because, why I because find... you you made it happen. You made it happen. Ah, I think the French woman who helped us, she helped us a lot. Off camera, there were things Hafida told me about her childhood that were so horrific I didn't know what to say. Most of us couldn't have survived what she went through, let alone excelled. But Hafida is a woman who saw her adversity as a reason to be grateful for every moment of life, every kindness from a stranger, and her positivity is infectious. She is an amazing woman, this woman. Mm -mm. If I am an amazing woman, if you find me interesting, it's just because of this woman. <laughs> really, she helped us a lot. If she is not there, I think I will be like I will be like a, a woman who doesn't know how to... Oh my God, <laughs> no! It makes, me, it makes me cry. Oh my God. Mm. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's, uh, you see, the life is good. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard, but it's good. Yeah. That's why I love to laugh. No, no, I'm, I'm crying because I'm happy. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful story. Yeah. <laughs> this happened to me. <laughs> yeah, it happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. No, because it's it's it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's inspiring, no? Yeah. Because yeah, there is it exists people nice people exist in the world, you see. Yeah. And that's why I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this woman she she just teach me to love each one. Yeah, yeah. And they thank her for that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. This is what's beautiful about, oh, about Morocco, no? Yeah. Because, you, because you have this smile and you have this, this joy, this Everybody. joy for life. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if, uh, if good things happen to you, it's because you deserve it, because you, yeah. you have this, you give other people this joy. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. To see the next episode of my adventure in Morocco, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and thank you so much for watching.